Hey guys, how are you going? It's Kate Krogan from Fix It Physio and Injury Clinic. How are you? Uh, look, I just thought I'd jump in again. We've just um, finished a challenge at our gym at Fernwood and I know that quite a few of my clients at the moment are also doing challenges, um, just starting them or halfway through them. And I just want to jump in again and I just wanted to talk about something called loads or how we cycle our workouts or how we actually plan our week. So type below if you actually do a rest slash recovery day go yes down below if you do rest or, or recovery day. So one of the things that people get a little bit wrong is they get into these challenges and they're like, right, I'm just gonna go full on, hard as I can, and I'm just gonna pump out those calories, I'm gonna pump out that time. Or in our gym, it was a point system, so I'm gonna go and get those points. And that's okay if you need a really good um, motivator and it's a short period of time. However, if you don't get rest days in there, you're just not gonna work efficiently. So what is a rest day? This is why I'm here. People think a rest day is completely on your back, in front of the telly, remote control, popcorn. That is not a rest day, okay? A rest day might be if you have a family going for a walk along the coast. It might be playing a bit of soccer with your kids across the road. On the weekend, you might have seen we had state champs for um, us older, more mature ladies. So my rest day today at the gym was a cycle. So I just jumped on. Hi, if you join me, I'm talking about loads and recovery and rest days. So my rest day is more of a recovery day today, if that makes sense. So I've just spent half an hour on the bike, just going through the motion, sitting about 110 um, heart rate, nothing major, just getting my heart up so I can then go and do a 20 minute stretch session. So I thought I'd just jump in first and talk to you about this. So rest is not sitting on the lounge doing nothing, unless you've obviously got a broken leg like my son. Two, hey Mel, how are you going? Um, two, rest can be recovery. So it could be a swim, it's low impact, It's not getting your heart rate up there. It's in a, in a nice low zone. It might be a stretching session. It could be yoga. It could be um, a, a light Pilates session, not a heavy yoga or Pilates session. It might be walking on the beach with your family, taking the dog for a walk. You know, so something light. Um, yay, you do recovery days or yay, hi. <laughs> Type in yes if you do a recovery day. So I think um, one of the things that we look at with our elites um, can be even a cycling of low, medium, high days. Um, so the, that's talking about rate of perceived exertion. So naught to 10, 10 is I am, cannot do another pedal on my bike. And zero is, this is lying on the couch. So we, we look at low day compared to high days. Hi Dee, how are you going? And we wanna try and make sure that you're not going hard, 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 and not giving yourself recovery time. A, if you're, if you're doing weights, you're not gonna be able to lift as more. If you're doing cardio, you're not gonna be able to get your heart rate up as high for as long and as efficiently. So think about it guys. Yay, good work Mal, knew you would, knew you would. So think about it, program your days. I program my rest day normally around a Sunday. Um, I do hockey on a Saturday, which is my high day. Rest day is Sunday, family day, and we um, normally do a bushwalk or, as I said, some of those activities before. So I'm off to stretch and roll before I cool down too much. Have a fantastic Monday. Any questions, pop them in below. Make sure you type yes if you do do a recovery or rest day. I want to know. Okay, see you later. Bye. Oh.